Some people invariably ask in question period or otherwise, well, Romano, how's your commission? How's it making out? It'll be five years this November. Actually, uh, what, six months, uh, three weeks, 21 days, and five hours, but who's counting <laughs> since I tabled the uh, report uh, with the government and the House of Commons? I want to give you a quick report card from my perspective. I think the answer is that while we're making some slow progress, we've got a long way to go. But first, the progress. There are some positive developments. We have a Health Council of Canada to monitor and publicly report upon successes and failures, but it's in challenge. I think Terry will identify that. Alberta and Quebec still remain outsiders. Primary health care reform is slowly taking shape, but good positive work is being developed here. IT technology and telehealth is finally being developed, and Dick Alvarez and Infoway, Infoway leading the way in concert with everybody else. Wait times are being addressed. I've spoken to that, albeit it's difficult. Hospital and other health services are being reorganized, even difficult. I can speak from personal experience. We are slowly, perhaps too slowly, breaking down the silos. These are all good. And one other good positive feature. In 2004, Prime Minister Martin's meeting with the premiers, the so-called health care deal for a generation, the fix for a generation, was important. $41.3 billion over 10 years for action in areas of shared priority was dedicated. Now, this was a major recommendation of my Royal Commission. The 2004 Accord and this insertion of Ottawa money back into the provincial systems restores the cutbacks of Ottawa in the mid-1990s, the CHSC of 1995, and eases the pressure that governments like my own in Ontario's implemented by way of change. My point being that no longer can any premier or any province argue that money is an obstacle for change, positive change, in their provinces. They've got the money. The plans are there. It's the question of the political will to achieve it. That is the positive side. On the negative, no action on Aboriginal health. This is a national disgrace for us as Canadians. No action on a national catastrophic drug plan. Asymmetrical arrangement for Quebec, I think, weakens national unity. No protection against encroachments of possibly future global trading arrangements. Little progress on home care. And others which I won't mention, but there remains much yet to be done. 